A generic name like that could mean absolutely anything. I tell you what, though, we got more more shooting in space. There's a task on YouTube. Damn. You gotta you gotta task the game to win. Um. Yeah, that looks like the Dragon Slayer cabinet. All right. Cinematronics had a big hit with uh, with Dragon Slayer in 1983. They were doing other things. Uh. New dimensions and bit vector gameplay combined with brilliant graphics and the economy and convenience and convertibility. Mission, maneuver your ship through the tunnels and chasm to the station to the central power core, destroy the core and escape. Retracing your path to the point of entry before the chain reaction explosions destroy the entire station. Success in this mission will lead you to 23 new and greater challenges. Damn. Uh, score point for this random ship. Activate thrust button to maneuver your ship through station. Fire guns to kill enemies. Activate shield to block enemy attack. Follow ship's progress in upper network display map. Yeah, I guess it had a Vectrix port, but uh, how many people have seen the arcade game? I'm going to wager not many. I don't remember seeing this. <laughs> so I, I, I kind of felt like there was like something to this game, although I think the control scheme is gonna fuck me up because it's also, uh, it's also analog, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Prince Hordkin, thank you for the 300 bits. Games Wahoo Space. Your mission is to maneuver your ship through the station and destroy the central power core. After destroying the core, retrace your path to the point... Yeah, well, I already said that. If you are su suck successful... You'll be promoted to more dangerous missions. Whoa, cool. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Instant one bongo? No. Okay. Uh, there's a triple digit credit counter, by the way. Um, did I start? Where's my start button? There we go. Weird. Okay. I think my controls are mapped. I'm just gonna make sure. Uh, let's, uh, let's remap that. What did I... Up? Okay. So, um... They're firing a lot of shit at me. And if you run into anything, it's instant death. The walls, the thing in the middle... Anything. So we gotta break that. Probably don't want to stay. Oh my god. Don't want to stay here. T oh my god. <laughs> I thought one shot would break it. Damn, that was a bad credit. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, let's try again. This is just mission alpha. Yeah, there's, there's, there's kind of something to this, but it's... It's like Asterak. It's fucking impossible. Oh yeah, I have a shield button. Which is not mapped. There we go. Maybe you should use your shield, BBH. Uh-oh. Uh, can I go through that? 
The light was still there, I wasn't sure. So what I don't like is that there's this big dead spot in the middle of your, uh, your shot. Uh, how long does this last? <laughs> that lasts a long time. Okay. Uh... Shield seems pretty buff. Oh my god. Okay. We need to go. We need to go through the ah the bottom left, dude. I don't like the uh, whoa. Use your ship to blast out your initials. Uh, wait, I can't see. Oh, there we go. You gotta be so fucking precise here. Okay, whatever. Fufuka. But yeah, the, the gap between the shots is the... It's fucking hard to deal with. Because there's all these little tiny enemies. Okay, let's try this again. I gotta blow up one base. That's my mission. But what I'm wondering is, is there like any... like? Downside to not just holding the shield. You can't fire when you have the shield up, but like you can just kind of like stay there. It seems. Ah, like too slow. Maybe it shouldn't be on the left trigger. Oh, I went the wrong way. Fuck. Whatever. Later, nerds. Party's down there. The stop sign gets bigger if I use the, the shield? Unless it's gonna play on its own? Okay. Destroy core. Oh god. Oh, what? What happened? <laughs> Damn, that was fast. Okay. Take that. Alright, we're out of here. What? I thought I broke the door. <laughs> Can I just hit start to skip this? No. Damn it! That was close. Okay, okay. I can definitely complete my mission. Oh, did I not take the exact path? I thought I was... Okay. Okay. I gotta book it. I'm trying. Wait, I thought I hit start. Come on. Man, you got to be hitting start on the right uh, the right screen. It does not take start at any time. <laughs> Reset. Mash the shit out of start button. Maybe it started, maybe this didn't. Like, it's it's too much to just, uh, kill you if you hit, like, the walls of the station. Like, if you hit the thing in the middle, okay, fine, whatever. That thing is evil. But, like, you should at least, like, be bouncing off the walls, right? That'd be more fair. But I guess that would be too easy. Alright, that dude's just vibe. Oh, no, 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 no! I hate that gap. Oh my god, he snuck through the gap. 
It's gonna be at just the right angle. Oh god. Uh-oh. There we go. These fucking controls, man. Okay, start firing, start firing. Man, in the gap! Mind the gap. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Oh god. Ugh, the acceleration is so touchy. I'm trying to go fast, man. This is hard. Why are, why are these vector games fucking impossible? <laughs> like, I like the concept here. Of, like, having a... Having, like, a route. You can do to get the, uh... Oh, God. <laughs> why was I facing that direction? A route to get to the, uh, the base and all that, but, uh... Oh my god, come on, dude. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad with the proper controls. I think the analog controls are kind of fucking me up here. But even then, even then. Because I think that the thrust button is an analog. It's just a button. And that doesn't fix the problems I'm having with the acceleration. Okay. Oh my god! Dude. Ah, I tried to get through. So many enemies. Okay. I put up my shield, goddammit. Alright, here we go again. Gotta destroy every glow stick. I'm going too fast! <laughs> you can't slow down! Ah, man! I can't make it out of the base! This is impossible. One more try. I want to like this. I really do. I think it's a good concept. Analog ruins everything sometimes. <laughs> now what ruins everything is this fucking shot gap. I can suck my nuts. I put the shield up, goddammit. Uh... Damn, there's so many of those things in there. Yeah. I always die right, right at the beginning. There we go. Alright. No! Oh. You don't get a second chance. Oh, yeah, you do. No, this is a new mission. I'm back in mission alpha. But I'm in a different part of the base. Oh, my God. 
So many enemies. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> Cack. Uh, what is the high score for this on Marv? Somebody must have fucking demolished this game. Six hundred and twenty-three thousand by by Jerky. I actually met that dude at Green Cruise. He's cool. He has some good scores, but he has some some sus taste in some games. Um. Damn. He's like way way above like second place. <laughs> Beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. I don't know. It's probably... Mm, this is just another one of those games where... Not getting the full experience without the cabinet. And maybe it would be it would be way more enjoyable when you actually had like the proper analog controls. And if you can, like... Uh, swing the joystick back and forth. Unfortunately, Jerky's replays were within like the last the last few years, and they don't show up on the uh, the Wayback Archive for uh, uh, for Marp. So can't watch that. I was gonna say the demo is actually like kind of kind of doing okay. Maybe that demo can get in the in the base. Wait, you can bounce off? Oh, he's using the shit. What is the demo doing? Very perplexing. They gave up. All right. Fuck it. Let's rate this thing. Was it giving score? It didn't look like it. Yeah, it auto fires when you hold the the button down. Also, I'm gonna have to catch up on art after this. I see a few pieces. Give score. So the demo's just drunk then. You love to see it. And at least the demo doesn't die in like two seconds, I guess. Anyway. Um so I like how I, I muted it, but I can still hear the audio. Bless you. Uh 79% of the votes gave this a two. A few people gave it a three. Oh, they made it to the base in the, the demo. Damn, look how efficient... Oh, never mind, they're done. Um... Again, I'm gonna have to agree. I think it's... It's interesting... But unplayable. <laughs> Especially in MAME. But I, I, I think there's something to this. I think they were cooking. Uh, I think it just need a little more time in the oven. Four is continued on the dial. It would probably be more playable with the dial, but... Mm, would it be that much of an improvement? I don't know. Maybe it would be up to a three. Maybe. Let me uh, 
We've got a few art pieces. Give me a sec. Uh, thank you, Turborks, for the uh, <laughs> for the top roller, Duffy. Damn, that boy chumps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, thank you, uh... Thank you, Clip It, for uh, also Top Roller. Slash Money Money crossover with the, uh... The money bags at the end. <laughs> Is he flipping everybody off? Yeah, probably. Looks like it. It's top roller against the world. Everybody wants to kill him. Wait, hold on. I need to zoom in on that. Get off. Paid for by the Shameful Yank Society. <laughs> Pants around his ankles. Almost. Thank you for the, uh... Thank you for that clip it. And, of course, thank you, Chubo. Not top roller, but uh <laughs> Oh damn. Ugh. Ouch. Ah, oh, poor uh poor space games Wahoo guy. Bad time to piss. Thank you, Chubo. Thank you, Clip It. Thank you, Turborx. <laughs> All of a sudden, jump scare. <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing. Abs Nerdity! Thank you for the, the big 91 months. Damn, that's a lot of months. Thank you for the resub. 